Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to study about the pectoralis minor muscle, which is a muscle of the pectoral region. So the pectoralis minor muscle is this thin triangular muscle overlying the chest wall. And this muscle connects the thoracic wall to the shoulder girdle through its origin and insertion points. And this muscle underlies the pectoralis major muscle. So first if we look at the origin and insertion points of this muscle, so you can see that the pectoralis minor muscle originates from the anterior surfaces of the third, fourth and fifth ribs, just near or lateral to the costochondral junctions. And this muscle inserts here on the medial side of the coracoid process of the scapula. So let me remove this muscle so that I can show you these origin and insertion points on these bones. So now you can see the origin and insertion points of the pectoralis minor muscle on the bones. So the pectoralis minor muscle originates through these three points shown in red color on the anterior surface of the rib number three, four and fifth. And this muscle inserts here on the medial side of the coracoid process of the scapula shown in blue. Now if we look at the nerve supply of the pectoralis minor muscle, so this muscle is supplied by the medial pectoral nerve which originates from the medial cord of the brachial plexus. So these branches supplying the pectoralis minor muscle are actually the pectoral branches of the medial pectoral nerve and the medial pectoral nerve underlies this muscle. So I would remove this muscle so that I can show you the medial pectoral nerve. So now the muscle is removed and you can see the different nerves. So let me show you the medial pectoral nerve. So this one is the medial pectoral nerve originating from the from the medial cord of the brachial plexus. So this one is the medial pectoral nerve which then gives off pectoral branches to the pectoralis minor muscle. Now looking at the arterial supply of the pectoralis minor muscle, so this muscle is supplied by the thoracoacromial artery. So these branches you see are the pectoral branches of the thoracoacromial artery and this artery coming off the second part of the axillary artery is the thoracoacromial artery. So thoracoacromial artery then gives off pectoral branches which then supply the pectoralis minor muscle. Now at the end let's discuss the function of the pectoralis minor muscle. So the pectoralis minor muscle you can see produces shoulder depression that is it depresses the shoulder joint by acting on the coracoid process of the scapula. As you can see the pectoralis minor muscle as it contracts it draws the scapula downward so that it produces shoulder depression. So in this way the pectoralis minor muscle stabilizes the shoulder girdle. So this was the action produced by the pectoralis minor muscle. So now let's review the main points of this muscle. So the pectoralis minor muscle originates from the anterior surface of the third, fourth and fifth rib. It inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula. 
looking at the nerve supply so the medial pectoral nerve supplies the pectoralis minor muscle and the vascular supply so the thoracoacromial artery supplies this muscle and this muscle produces shoulder depression and it stabilizes the shoulder girdle so this was about the pectoralis minor muscle thank you so much